Hello, and welcome back to Movie Recap. We're back again today with another solidly good fiction film which will take you back to the Stone Age. 10,000 BC is the title of the fiction film that we'll be discussing today, so stick to your screens and watch this video to the end, where we'll try to describe the entire narrative as best as we can so that you may grasp the whole movie in a matter of minutes. Spoilers will be included because this is a recap. You've been cautioned. Without further ado, let's begin. This is the tale of a group of early humans around 10,000 BC who fought an Egyptian king's captivity. The Yagel are a hunter-gatherer people that dwell in the Ural Mountains and survive on hunting woolly mammoths. The tribe is led by a hunter who single-handedly killed a mammoth and earned the white spear. Steve Strait portrays the primary role, Delay, a young man who strives to prove himself to his tribe after his father abandoned him when he was a child. The tribe has a ritual of handing the post of leader to the person who earns the white spear for courage in hunting woolly mammoths, which is their major source of survival. The mammoths begin to diminish and the village chief discovers a young girl named Evelet, played by Camille Bell, who escaped a slaughter at the hands of the old mother, of what the old mother refers to as four-legged devils, who would appear when the Yago go on their last hunt. She predicts that whomever kills the demon's leader will get both Evelet and the White Spear, becoming the new village chief. The tribe believes that the demons are mammoths who will save them from starving if they return. The chief, on the other hand, rejects the prophecy and departs to find another method to save his people. He entrusts the White Spear, his son Delay, and the true purpose of his quest to find his friend Tik Tik. The rest of the tribe, especially Delay's opponent, Karen, believes Delay's father departed because he was a coward. When the mammoths pass by the tribe's territory, they lure them into a trap in order to capture and kill one. One of the mammoths has become entangled in a net. All of the hunters grab onto the net to tame it, but it breaks free, taking the hunters with it who are still clutching onto the net. Except for delay, all of the hunters let go. He refuses to let go since he's caught in the net. Others misinterpret this as bravery. The mammoth breaks free from the net and charges Delay. His spear is lodged into some rocks, and while he cowers in terror, the mammoth accidentally runs into the spear, killing it. Delay understands he does not deserve to be hailed as a hero by his people. At first, he selects the white spear since it implies he would be able to choose his wife. Delay and Evelet eventually fall in love and marry. The villagers feel the prophecy is being fulfilled, but Delay is plagued with guilt for not winning the white spear honestly. He hands up the white spear after consulting with Tik Tik, forfeiting his marriage to Evelet. The tribe has a wise woman with prophetic abilities. They refer to her as the Old Mother. The Old Mother gives a prophecy. She claims that the four-legged creatures will attack and split the tribe apart, but that one of the tribesmen will eventually save them. Soon after, men on horseback assault them, enslaving the majority of them, murdering many of the tribe, and enslaving Evelet as well. Delay and a few other guys manage to elude capture. They resolve to pursue the riders since they'll all perish if the other men do not assist with the hunt. Delay, Tik Tik, Karin, and Baku, a young boy, go out to save their fellow Yagol. They tell Karin he can't accompany them, yet he still follows them. The four of them set out to find the horsemen and save Evelet. When they discover the horsemen, they attempt to rescue Evelet, but they're attacked by prehistoric huge birds in the swamp during the rescue. Tik Tik is hurt. Baku and Karin have been captured. Evelet does not quite escape. She gets captured by the horsemen once more. Delay falls into a large pit while fleeing. He's not hurt, but he's trapped with a saber-toothed tiger. He releases the tiger, requesting that it not devour him if he does so. When liberated, the tiger leaps from the trap and flees. Delay drags the wounded Tik Tik along with him on a pallet. They continue to follow the horsemen's trails. They hear horses attacking another settlement of African tribesmen in the distance and capturing more captives. They enter the settlement, which appears to be abandoned at first, but then the remaining African tribesmen appear. When it appears that they would be ambushed by African tribesmen, the saber-toothed tiger appears. When the tiger he saved arrives and refuses to be killed, Delay believes the prophecy is about him. The tiger clearly protects Delay in return for being freed from the trap. One of the African tribesmen speaks the language of Delay. He says that he learned this from Delay's father before him. Delay discovers that his father did not forsake him or the tribe, but instead went into search of a new food source since he knew they would perish without one. Delay's father made Tik Tik pledge not to reveal the true cause for his leaving in order to keep others from following him into danger. After Tik Tik recovers, they learn of a prophecy from the Naku, another tribe. Whomever talks to the saber-toothed tiger known as the Speartooth would aid to the freeing of their people. 
They agree to join Delay in the mission to reclaim Evelette from the Horsemen because members of their tribe have also been enslaved. Delay leads a coalition of tribes in their pursuit of the Raiders. They raise a massive army from all of the nearby tribes. They almost make it to the Horsemen in time, but are too late to prevent them from boarding their ships. They discover the ships carrying Evelette and their families, but have no way of following them. The Horsemen then take the ships up the Nile. There is only one way to catch the Horsemen and that is to take a shortcut over the desert, but this has never been accomplished. This is due to the fact that everyone traveling the desert becomes disoriented. Delay directs them using a star that he found that does not change position. They travel through the desert and come up in an advanced civilization governed by an enigmatic god-king known as the Almighty, the last of a group of people who survived the fall of another ancient civilization across the sea. They arrive to the location where the horsemen have delivered the captives, where thousands of slaves are constructing the Great Pyramids. It's learned here that the abducted Yago also labor as slaves. The warlord who sees Devilet attempts to force her to love him, only to be apprehended by the Almighty's priests when they discover he took her without permission. Delay discovers the Almighty and the fate of his father, who died as a slave, during a night scouting raid. The guards see the gathering and are slaughtered by Tick Tick before he succumbs to his wounds. The priests of the Almighty think that Evelet is destined to murder the Almighty due to whip scars on her hands matching the stars known as the Mark of the Hunter, and an old prophecy foretelling their civilization's demise. The Almighty recognizes that Evelet is only a harbinger for the real hunter. Delay and a small group of scouts penetrate the slave camps. They warn the slaves to prepare for a revolt, and a large army of men stands ready to assault and support. Many members of Delay's army infiltrate the slave camps in order to launch the insurrection from inside. Delay causes the mammoths, whom they're exploiting as beasts of burden, to stampede when the signal is given. As the waiting army attacks to help the slaves, all of the slaves rebel. A bloody battle occurs and the slaves gain the upper hand. Delay is offered Evelet and the other hunters by the Almighty in return for quitting his rebellion. He has ordered Evelet to be tied to two horses so she can be pulled apart unless Delay surrenders. Delay refuses, and before they can kill Evelet, he kills the alleged god with a spear. This sends the slaves on a rampage. In the intense fighting with the temple guards, Evelet is seriously wounded by the horsemen who stole her from Delay. Evelet nearly dies, but back at Delay's tribe's camp in the mountains, the old mother takes on death instead, dying so Evelet might live. The Yago bid farewell to the other tribes and return home with seeds provided to them by the Naku to start a new life. This brings us to the end of the recap and also the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Tell us about your thoughts in the comment section down below. You can also check out our other recaps. The links to which you can find are in the description. Before you leave, please subscribe to our channel, which will help us a lot in making new videos like this for you guys. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any of our videos. See you in the next one soon. Thanks for tuning in.